Hey guys, how is it going? So I'm really nervous about this video for quite a few reasons. I'm, I'm just now, as I started recording, I just now started feeling nervous. Number one, I know that the sound on this is really going to suck, and I'm sorry for that. But I finally downloaded a software to where I can show you guys my budget this way. And I'm not very good at this stuff, figuring this stuff out. So I've been messing around with the volume for a while and cannot get it perfect. But I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway. Probably get a lot of thumbs down, but whatever. Number two, I'm showing you my detailed budget, which is kind of nerve-wracking. But um, I haven't shown you a budget update in a long time, so number one. So that's why I'm doing this. Also, I'm just wanting to change things around on my YouTube channel a little bit. Um, I haven't been very motivated with the way things are going, so I'd like to start doing different videos other than just you know my dinner ones. So if you guys could just tell me below what you like to see, um, that would be helpful. And how like budget-related videos? Do you like seeing it like this? Would you rather see me talking to the camera, or like what do you want to hear? So I was going to do a June budget update, but after looking over my uh, June budget, I just, it's really embarrassing. Things have just not been going very well for us. Not that anything bad has happened, we just have not been very disciplined. So what I decided to do was more of a mid-July update and just kind of tell you where we're at on our baby steps. As you can see, we've taken money out of our emergency fund and it wasn't even for an emergency, so... We've been overspending a little bit, but also because Jared hasn't gotten really much commission in a long time. He's got about, what he keeps telling me is he has, or he's shown me, is about $15,000 uh, that he's waiting on. The people, these um, clients or whatever he calls them, they're just taking forever to pay. So he thinks that we'll get a big one at the end of July. For that reason, we should have been cutting back on our spending, but we haven't really been like we should. That's why I don't want to show you June because it's so bad. Also, for the first time ever, we've had to push back our sinking funds for two months. For May and June, we were not able to contribute anything to our sinking fund. So if you look down here, these are our sinking funds. So they are like tripled what they would normally be. Hopefully at the end of July, we can get caught up on those. Okay. I'll just kind of walk you through a little bit on what our July budget looks like. Um, we had a long talk at the end of June about we had a, we had a fight. <laughs> and then we made up and had a good long talk. And uh, we're trying to get back on track. It's just been a, been a roller coaster. Things have been going good, so we haven't been, hasn't been very motivating or exciting. Um, but like I said, we talked about it, and we're trying to get back on track. So uh, let's start out. As you can see, I do have a, another video where I explain more in detail about how I created this budget and stuff, and I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. Jared only gets paid twice a month, so I don't know why I still have this split up um, like this. I need to probably change it, but I just kind of like doing having it split up weekly. I don't know why. But anyway, so he got paid on July 1st. No, wait. He got paid on May 31st, I think. This is what we were able to roll over from that. Is almost fourteen hundred, and he also got a little bit of a commission, also five sixty-five. And I got paid for the first time. I told you guys a while back I was going to start working with Jared's dad and sister, and so I've just been doing a little bit here and there. It's really hardly anything, but they finally paid me a little bit for that, uh, so that felt good. So then he gets all paid on the fourteenth, also, and also on the twenty-eighth. My phone bill is normally sixty. But I finally got my phone fixed. You guys may remember I cracked it a while back. And I went like, I don't know, four or five months with a horribly cracked phone. Because I just didn't feel like paying it. And I was too lazy to get it done. But I finally did. And my mom insisted on paying for half of it. Because she's crazy like that. So my total bill I ended up paying was 50 of that. And then the regular 60. Okay, Our electric bill went way up this month. It's not due until the 28th. So it's like $70 more, but that's because it's the summer. It's like $70 more than it was last month. JoJo's Gymnastics is $69 a month, and then that's $35 for daycare. And her the babysitter's off this week on vacation. Then since this is like two weeks' work, she might go a few times. It's $35 each time I take her. So I'm guessing it'll be about $105. And then here's our tithes for church, and then our mortgage. 
Um, I also told you guys a while back that our mortgage, our insurance went down or something. So we were paying 1180 and then because our insurance went down, went down, it dropped it down to 1067 and we told, we, we decided we were going to continue paying 1180 because we're used to that and also, um, that would be us contributing more to our principal, our mortgage, which is baby step six, which is what we want to be doing. But last month, because things weren't going good, I was just like, Jared, we're not going to be able to do that this month. I hate doing that, but we can't. And then this month, we're just going to pay the minimum. Also, hopefully by August, we'll start being able to increase that again. But for now, nope. Uh, we're contributing 100 to each of our IRAs. So that is what that's for. Our AT&T bill, it was low this month because we just switched over to DirecTV, but uh, it will increase next month. I'm not sure what it will be though. Our water bill was due a few days ago, 75. Jared's phone is 77. We contribute $100 a month to a 529 plan for, Joe, for the girl. Our gas bill, we already paid. We have Netflix and then our car insurance. So that's all for our basic bill, and here's our, uh, you know, cash envelopes and saving funds. We budgeted five fifty this month on groceries. As you can see, I've already kind of went crazy. I like, but I've been buying like a lot of things in bulk, so we sh I shouldn't have to buy any more meat for this month. I've bought a lot of uh, household stuff, you know, like a huge thing of toilet paper from Costco and just different things. And we shouldn't have to buy many veggies, but anyways, the way I do this is I uh. I can if you right click it and right click somewhere you can insert a comment and then you can go to edit comment so that's how I keep track with what I'm spending so I got out 250 cash spent that at I don't know where I don't have my envelope on me right now um, and then I went to Costco and then I bought some meat from the farm Walmart Aldi and then we got a gift card from AT&T so I'm giving Jared cash for the gift card I don't know how to explain it. We got a gift card from AT&T for $100. Well, I'm giving Jared cash for that, and then I'm using that card for groceries because he's about to go out of town on a trip with his friends on a golf tournament. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how to explain that, but anyway, I'm too tired right now. $90 left in the grocery budget, and plus um, like 50 or 60 left on that gift card. And then gas, we've got 37 left. I do the 150. I just kind of keep track of it like that. Jared gets his $300 cash at the beginning of the month. And then he went to the gas station and still bought whatever junk he buys. So right here shows that he's gone $11 over budget. I budgeted $75 for myself for the month. I've already spent my $40. But I did buy us some new placemats for our kitchen table. And they are just so cute. Oh my gosh. So I spent like 20 on those and then like I bought some Starbucks and other things. And then restaurants took out $100 cash and we've already gone through all that so I'm not going to eat out at all this week. Yeah, it's really hard when I'm with the girls to not go out at all but I'm not going to. Alright, and then gifts. My cousin just graduated from high school so we're giving him $50. Uh, medical, we haven't that used to be a sinking fund, but we haven't contributed to that in a long time because we have our HSA account, which uh, I can go ahead and tell you guys, uh, part of the something we've been having to pay the last couple of months is a lot of medical bills. If you saw my one of my recent videos about our ectopic pregnancy, we're getting bills every single week for that, and it's getting really annoying. And then every time I have to take one of the girls to the doctor, it's costing us like $100, so I guess our insurance just sucks. I don't know. But so we're having to pay a lot of money out of pocket for, we've already depleted our HSA account, so we keep having to pay money for that, which sucks, but at least we have the money to pay it. Okay, and then we put about $40 a month for car inspections, registrations, and oil changes. We have quite a bit in our sinking fund, so even though I didn't contribute anything to that in May or June, I just decided to go ahead and just keep it at 40 which is what we usually do monthly instead of tripling it I'm just going to keep it at 40 because we have a lot saved up already so I don't think we need to do 120 car maintenance we usually do about 100 a month so hopefully at the end of this month we'll be able to contribute 300 
and then home. I usually do twenty dollars a month. That's not a very important one that we use very often, so that's why I'm keeping that at twenty. Clothes. We've started contributing about fifty dollars a month, but I'm not going to triple that because none of us really need clothes right now. Our HOA. I am going to go ahead and triple that one because that is something that we are going to have to pay next year. And then Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and stick with that one because that's an important one for us because we go crazy around Christmas time. The girl's birthday. We've been contributing, I think, fifty dollars a month. And their birthday is coming up, so as you can see, we started getting ready for their party. We're going to have it at a pool, so I went and booked that. That cost sixty dollars. Bought a few things at Party City, and then we ordered them a bike trailer because Jared rides his bike a lot, and so we really want that. That's going to be their big present. So we ordered that from Target. Cost about a hundred dollars. So um, I need to transfer over a hundred and six dollars from our sinking fund to our checking to cover that. That's how that works. I set aside $20 a month for my contacts that I buy once a year and gardening. We don't really need to uh, triple that one so we're just going to keep it at 20 CSA is something that's important to us. We usually set aside $35 a month for that. So we're going to do 105 this time. The state fair is something that we go to every year. So we set aside $60 for that. My life insurance is 140 a year, and I just paid it last month, so we're starting over again this month with $12 a month. And then I like to budget. Um, really, it depends on what we have going on. It's summertime, so I know we have a lot going on. I'm doing miscellaneous 200 because I know that we're going to spend on miscellaneous stuff. So as you can see, what we've spent so far is Redbox, Dr. Bills. Jojo got an expensive haircut, and her and Jerry went to the Ranger game and bought a bunch of junk. She's an obsessed with red boxy guys, so that's kind of taking some of our money. So yeah, as you can see right here, oh my goodness, it's negative! So, um, before the 14th, or sometime within the next week or so, I'm going to have to transfer some more money over from our Baby Step 3 to cover those expenses. What the plan is, when we get paid again on the 28th, we should get some commission. So we should be able to replace that. But it just kind of sucks that all the money that he's going to get is going to have to go to pay ourselves back. So yeah, that sucks. And we really need to get focused and back on track. I like to just keep notes here on the side, things we want to save for. As you can see, we already bought the bike thing for the girls. So we can delete that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Our bed sheets have holes in them, and I'm Jared keeps bugging me about buying them, and I'm like, meh, they're fine. <laughs> this is not updated. We do not have that much in our baby step three. It's probably more like 15. Okay, goodness. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Like I said, I'm really sorry about the sound. I know that probably made it hard to watch. So if anybody is good at this stuff, or if you guys would just rather see me talking to the camera, or even showing my computer screen with screen with the camera, but I know that sucks too. But yeah, I'll have to do another budget update, I guess, at the end of the month, so y'all can uh, hold me accountable and get on to me if I don't stick to it, right? Right? Just kidding, that's all. I can shut up now. But I hope you guys are sticking to your budget in July, and um, I hope I'm not disappointing y'all that we cannot stay on track with our baby steps. We're not being very good influencers or whatever you call it. But we're working on it, and at least we know it, and we realized it, and we're working on it. So, yeah, I will talk to you all later on. And like I said, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. Um, thanks for watching.